Hi all. We're going to do some Windows Server 2016. Before we get started, I'll read a joke here. Uh, it's from an old, old book. Got it at the library on the free rack. Uh, world's Book of Best Jokes. Uh, 1943. You see, it's really old here. So. It's two fellas talking to each other. First guy said, That's my girl Easter egg. And the second guy says, Why do you call her Easter egg? First guy says, Because she's hand painted on the outside and hard-boiled on the inside. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to download Windows Server 2016, the uh, trial version. So here's the link. Go ahead and put this link in a text file so you can see it. And then up here at the top, there's a Try Now button. And you see here, Windows Server 2016, Technical Preview 4. And then, in order to download, you have to sign in. Please sign in to download Windows Server 2016. You'll have to have an account with uh, Microsoft. And then he brought up this pop-up here. I'm going to go save as. You can see it's 4.8 gigs. And it's an ISO file. So you burn that ISO file to a DVD. And uh, <clears throat> I already created a folder on my desktop here. And I'm using Firefox so we can click on downloads. It shows how long it's going to take. So I've got slow internet so it's going to take a while. So Okay, see ya. Bye. Okay, so in the first video we downloaded Windows Server 2016 and you can see this here is the uh, ISO file and it's a uh, dot ISO is the extension and that's the file we burned to a DVD so you can see here it's 4.81 gig so a regular DVD 
is 4.7 you can see on there it's 4.7 gig so it won't fit so so here I have a dual layered disk and you can see it's 8.5 gigs so I'll go ahead and pop this into the uh, DVD recorder on the computer Okay, so the DVD is uh, trying to auto start here. If I go to see, or if I go to this computer, here's the blank DVD. You can see there's nothing on it, and it's uh, almost eight gigs. You always lose a little bit that just by the nature of the memory. So, so to burn the ISO to the DVD, uh, this ISO, another name for ISO is an image. So we're going to burn the image file to the DVD. So if we just right click and we can go burn image to disk okay now it's saying here's the name of the file this is your DVD burner if you have multiple DVD drives in your computer you have to choose the one that's the recorder and here's the status This verify stuff I usually don't bother with because uh, you, you can usually burn a disk in 10-15 minutes or so or even less and then it takes an hour or more to verify it. So just for fooling around, you know, I wouldn't bother to verify it. If you're burning something important, it might be a good idea. So click burn and it only takes a few minutes. So it's what, uh, nine after here. Now, while we're waiting for that, I've already done a couple more. Like, I. I always write the date um, because then a few months, few years down the road, you remember when you down downloaded these. Because what will happen is you'll have Windows Server 2016, version 1, version 2, version 3, you know, you can't remember which is which, especially if you uh, grab all the newest ones. So this way if you put the date on there too it makes it a lot easier to remember and if you buy a program or if you download something and burn a disk and they give you a serial number always write the serial number right on the disk that way if you lose the card or you lose the box the serial number for the program is right on the disk you know the 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 number you need to install it you know just write it right on the disk. Uh, something else I, I do is get a get a ad, get an address book. Write all your serial numbers in your address book. Uh, I like this one because uh, it has spiral. Uh, it has uh, rings. And as the pages get old, I can replace the uh, pages. Uh, I I bought these at Staples. Yeah. I I think I bought this holder off Amazon. Went for like ten like ten ten bucks or so. Let's see if I can get the name here. It's a uh, Pro Planner.
day uh, day runner pro planner day runner so. okay so the name here is a it's a pro planner day runner day runner is the uh, company name Uh, another good tip is all your email and your website passwords write them in your address book then then you have them uh, what happens is o over the years you have emails that you quit using and you come back to it a couple years later you can't remember the password uh, you have websites that you need to you, you need a username and password to get into so it's nice to have them written down you know all all your banking stuff I always write that stuff down uh, uh, my checking account number my savings account number my login information for the bank I write it all in here I used to write everything on a index card you know the index card would go in my wallet and then it was safe but what happens is after a while that index card gets old it comes out of the wallet you throw it in the junk drawer years later you can't find it so you know, after you write the inf the the important I information in your at your address book of course you have to keep this secure you can't just leave it laying around so but I even write my credit card numbers and the and the uh, s s security code on the card. I write those in my book too. So e even if I don't, ha if if I happen to lose my wallet, right? I have the card number, the security code, the 800 number for the company. It's all right here. And to go along with that, to know what's in your wallet. You know, you m might even want to take a Xerox of the cards you carry in your wallet. Because if you lose your wallet, it's like, well, what cards were in there? I don't remember. You know, we all have multiple cards. You know, some some are in some are in the drawer, some are in the wallet. Well, which cards were in my wallet when I lost it? I don't remember. Sounds silly, but uh, I, I think in 50 years, I, I, I've only lost my wallet twice. Uh, once was back when I was a kid, and uh, once was just a couple months ago. I, I put it between my legs, got out of the car at the store, and 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 for and forgot it was there. You know, I, I got home, and it's like, oh, where's my wallet? You know? And uh, Luckily, I called the store and somebody had turned it into the front desk, but I had still I, I had I had still canceled all my cards and checking account number and Everything so it popped the disc out here I'm gonna go ahead and close it so we can check out the files on the disc It's nice if they uh, put some help files or a PDF or something here. That's, 
that's what I'm looking for. And here's a nano server. Okay, so the main thing would be this setup. That that's what you run when you install Windows. Okay, so next we'll take this DVD and install Windows on a computer. Okay, see ya. Bye.